The Chittenden Solid Waste District in Vermont offers all-in-one recycling for its residents and commercial customers by operating a single-stream material recycling facility, or MRF for short. All-in-one recycling eliminates the responsibility for people to separate recyclables at home. Upon entering the MRF, a truck packed full of materials is weighed. Next, the truck empties the recyclables onto a tip floor, where cardboard, paper, plastic, aluminum, and steel are all mixed together. 95% of the material that enters the MRF will be separated, bailed, and shipped to market. The remaining 5% is trash, which is collected and shipped for disposal. To begin the process, a bucket loader pushes the material onto a conveyor belt that carries it to a manual pre-sort room. Cardboard is the first to be separated. Here, workers pick out trash and other non-recyclables that contaminate the final cardboard product. A worker picks over the cardboard one last time in preparation for final bailing. Because cardboard is bulky, it floats over the other material, perpetuated by spinning metal star-shaped discs. The cardboard is fed into a baler that uses about 3,500 pounds of hydraulic pressure to squeeze loose material into giant square blocks bound with steel wire. A bale of cardboard can weigh up to 1,200 pounds. Now it's ready for sale on the open market. The remaining material is conveyed through a three-layer series of screens with rubber and metal star-shaped discs that use a combination of gravity and momentum to separate plastic, metal, and glass containers from paper and boxboard, creating two different categories or streams, a fiber stream and container stream. The distance between screens help to separate material by size. Upward inclined screens separate material by weight, propelling lighter, flatter material like paper up and over to adjacent screens while round, heavier items fall between the screens. The fiber items float on top to an upper level where it is caught by a conveyor that takes it to a room for final sorting by hand. This conveyor carries larger fibers such as newspaper and magazines. Workers pick out remaining trash, containers, and cardboard that wasn't previously screened out. Boxboard and office paper is removed, leaving newspaper and magazine, which can be bailed and sold together. A second screen catches the smaller fibers like office paper and newspaper inserts. A conveyor carries these fibers to the same sorting room where a second set of workers perform final sorting by hand. In addition to sorting, the workers control the quality of the operation and produce the highly sought after product that is sold on the open market for top dollar. A front loader pushes the loose fibers onto a conveyor that feeds into the baler. A bale of old newspaper weighs about 1,400 pounds. Now separated from cardboard and large fibers, plastic, aluminum and steel containers are fed through additional screens. As paper floats up and over the star disks, 
Metals and plastics fall through the conveyor that feed them to a shaker screen. The downward slant allows light, flat fibers to float above the whirling star disks as containers bounce off the side and are carried to a manual sorting room. Along the way, the worker pulls out large pieces of cardboard and paper. The collected material will be reprocessed through the system. Plastics and aluminum are sorted by hand, while a whirling electromagnet snatches up the ferrous metal containers. Containers are separated according to material type and color. This method of separation is negative sorting in which certain recyclables are selectively taken out of the stream. The material that remains is reprocessed through the system. Bailed aluminum weighs 700 pounds. Ferrous metal weighs between 1,200 and 1,700 pounds. Near the beginning of the process, glass falls through the first screen and is crushed by the spinning star disks. The bouncing action of the star disks dislodge broken glass and other contaminants and keeps everything moving down the line. Glass is carried to a trommel screen. The trommel screen removes shreds of paper and other small non-glass material. This large, rotating barrel pulverizes the glass and rounds off the sharp edges. Local construction companies and road crews use the glass as aggregate and fill. More coarse material works well in French drainage systems or other landscape applications. The finer material can be used to fill in potholes.